Hello everybody, this is Hashoyar. Welcome to part 4 of GUI programming with Python and TK Inter. Uh, in this video, we are going to create entry widget. Uh, entry widget is, uh, take it as an input method in core Python, so where you can uh, enter the data and after do something with that data. Then we are going to create a simple GUI, one box, one enter widget label and one button and we will do something with that entry we will print it on message box or on the texts or on command line then then let's create uh, our file and import the modules I already have my file so import tk inter and import tk inter dot such box the reason i'm doing it over and over is, is in my opinion is the best way to learn any programming language uh, because programming learning especially learning programming is kind of like um how uh, le like learning how to uh, ride a bicycle or bike you have to do it over and over it's not just about memorizing the commands or uh, the theory <clears throat> you have to do it so class we equal define in it and self dot no not self dot self and down here we create main window create main window and it will be self dot main window equal tk inter dot tk and here call the call um, tk inter main loop which is tk inter dot main loop and down here we create an instance of our class uh, GUI for equal GUI and we have our box just we need to change the title self dot main window equal, uh, equal dot title and here we say mm, we for okay or name it what you like we for and we have we for okay now let's create our widgets first one we create a label because we are going to have entry then uh, the label should be something like enter your data something like that so self dot um, entry label equal tk inter dot label where is this label it is on main window and uh, self dot main window And if we had frame, of course, we had to set it on the frame and text equal mm, enter uh, your data, something like that. And self dot entry label dot pack side equal left. Enter your data here we have and now create the widget entry um, entry widget so um, self dot entry or entry data entry data equal tk inter dot entry and here again where self dot main 
window and here we should have width parameter width defined how wide it's going to be your uh, data entry window so width equal like 20 if we have no error here and we pack it self entry data dot pack side equal left now this window we can enter our data if we left a width by zero or zero we will have something like this very small which is stretching but this is not a nice idea we just put it there now we have uh, let's create one uh, button um, like function button something like that okay and after we define what we are going to do with that button self dot uh, self dot um, or button data yes uh, where is it button data equal um, tk inter dot button where it will be again self dot main window self dot main window and text will be mm, will be uh, click me again click me and I go down here and command equal for now quit because we haven't write the function for it yet okay so if now we uh, I forgot to pack it we just self self dot button data dot pack um, side equal left again and we have it when we click here it just quit the program then we need function for it define what kind of function we function we, we do something do something function self and here we say entry equal self dot um, see what we got here self dot entry data entry data dot get this is how we can get the info from entry widget now we say for example print uh, print uh, data uh, plus entry and here we change the quit with self dot do something and he say one two three when we uh, click the button we have one two three but now let's try to also print it on a message box so here we can write tk inter dot message box dot show info and here we can have a title as whatever we want about what we can write we can have uh, your entry your entry and here we will have entry
www. Oh, what? Show info? No. Why not? Oh, because it's not show info. With W. Huh. Okay. Uh, www. Click me. Data and your entry is www. But what if we don't enter data? Still data data now we can for example make very simple if statement and um, like make our program a little bit um, not complicated but we will play with it say if length of the entry length of the entry it's not zero if it's not zero then print the data and show the info box else if it's uh, if it's zero just say tk enter dot message box dot show info here your entry uh, your entry and here we can play uh, like print new data or no data no data something like that okay so if we click without entering anything no data and we have to click like uh enter like that we have decanter okay so now we pretty much need what we uh, pretty much have what we need for uh, well, I can't even talk it's morning here it's uh, we have what we need to start uh, to start to write uh, inventory manager and uh, for the next video i will start uh, uh, put together whatever we learned until now uh, into that project like little inventory manager uh, but i'm not going to connect it to database i've been thinking if i should connect it to sqlite 3 at least uh, because it's kind of simplest database but because we I, we have to learn also during this uh, tutorial more about TK Inter and also the structure of the uh, program itself and also we are going to learn a little bit about uh, high level file operations and uh, with the uh, shuttle um, uh, module then it would be it's too much uh, in uh, for one series and um, I think I might have a tutorial for school light in a separate video or when we are getting a little bit more uh, comfortable with TK Inter and our program when it's work completely uh, with no error uh, we can uh, add it uh, like like uh, connected to to database all right, so that's it for this video. And uh, if you like my video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I see you in next video.